over 100 years ago, there was a genocide that took place here against the Herero and the Nama, which many people are still learning more about. Um, here in Swakopmund, there are actually three concentration camps, and where we're standing right now is home to many of the bones of the ancestors of the concentration camp victims. And as you're walking around this barren plot of land, you actually can find bones just kind of strewn about. And we were walking here for all of five minutes and found uh, human remains just kind of lying in the sand, which you can actually find a lot of here in Swakopmund, which is really kind of interesting because you have this contrast of these beautiful houses that are right behind me, right in front of me over there, and then this kind of barren landscape which just houses the bones of the genocide victims. Uh, members of the town actually wanted to build on this land, build houses and kind of clear out any, you know, traces of what had happened and certain council members put a stop to that and said no, this is a ground where our ancestors are laying and so you'll see kind of mounds where people will come and, you know, put dirt over the remains of their ancestors. And if you go over maybe about 300 meters, there is a German graveyard which is much more well manicured. Um, here we're standing in the remains of the uh, Herero uh, group of people which were killed again over 100 years ago. People actually used to quad bike over here. Um, over there you can see the sand dunes, you know, kind of along the coastline. And uh, so luckily council members kind of put a stop to the quad biking in this area. Um, so we're just going to take some photographs and hope that this can aid in the recognition of the first genocide of the 20th century.